Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Dennis Shuttleworth, last year's president of the RFU, who's going to perform the ceremony of making the official opening of our new clubhouse and ground. I was asked to say something about the whole concept. Uh, this, I'll be very short, but I want to refer, please, if I may, to our golden jubilee brochure when we had Don Mosey writing about the club. He said two things. He said it is nowadays just about the oldest cliche in the book to attribute victories in every sporting context to team spirit. In the Keelian side of 1947-48 it was an unassailable truth and he goes on to explain that that was of course due to the team spirit was due to the leadership of Gilbert Swift. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the article, he said, in the 40s, Keelians had achieved their place in history. The foundations were there for others to build on. The future was there for them to develop. Well, the thing that's happened in these years since has been the continued existence of that team spirit. We've had the team spirit, we started and built the clubhouse down on the old ground, uh, then it was extended, and throughout this team spirit has been very, very strong, particularly in recent years on the administrative, administrative side. It very led, well led, of course, by Alderman Phillips, our chairman. You and Dennis, thank you for coming along in your year. Um, President of this club, President of Yorkshire, yeah, can't see you. Uh, <laughs> uh, members of this club, guests of this club, and ladies and gentlemen, it's not everybody who gets the privilege and the pleasure of opening a new ground. And I shall do it right willingly in a few moments' time. I think, though, we all ought to have a great feeling of gratitude to those planners and officials who decided that the new road would go slap through the old ground. <laughs> <laughs> Hence these marvellous new, faci new facilities. A lot of people one can say thank you to and congratulations to, and some have been mentioned. Uh, Sports Council, MPs, architects, contractors, all the people who've worked within the club and so forth, particularly if I could say that, those people who've worked within the club, and you all know who they are, I've been told about them, you know better than I though exactly what has been done. There are some other people who need thanks, I think, those are the players who've turned up today to mark this special occasion. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope those players, the young ones who are going out shortly and the older ones, have a great season of attacking rugby the whole season. And can I just add one other little thing? It's 33 years since Yorkshire won the county championship. <laughs> <laughs> and now this Keith Lee Club have got a golden opportunity with these new facilities and these new opportunities to really go forth and tell in this Keith Lee area. And to make and to, uh, to produce a, and continue to have a really happy club a successful club, one with the highest standards on and off the field, and if I could just add, one which attracts those young boys and those young men into the club and just shows them a little bit of what, about what this game is about and what we all think about it as a way of life. It's my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to officially declare this ground and these facilities open, and I do it with great pleasure. In doing so, could I give to you, City, the best wishes from the Union, every happiness and every success. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today is probably um, the most momentous uh, day in the history of Keith Lee Rugby Union Football Club, apart from the winning of the, the Orchard Cup and Shield in 48-49 season. 
During the 65 years of this club, then it was originally the dream, and in later years the aim, that we should try and have our own ground and our own facilities. Uh, we just got one thing now that the, Mr. Baron from the Sports Council would like to present a plaque for their involvement in this scheme, particularly the playing area, and he will do so to our club captain, Mr. Jeff Inman. Your future is here now. We hope that you and your enthusiasm in the new ground will go through to the minis, to the bantams, and secure the future of the club forever.
Spot.